Hello everyone, welcome to Noble Creative Tutorials. Today we are going to continue our tutorial series about Stardust, a smaller 3D particle system for After Effects. Very powerful plugin and in this tutorial we are going to create this nice motion graphic tunnel background using the power of replica node in Stardust. So let's get started. So after we create your composition, create a new solid and let's call that star stardust. And apply stardust to it. And for now we need to change the email type to text and mask. And I already have here a layer with a mask path of a triangular that's going to be our shape of our tunnel and now let's go back to the stardust and on a mirror we're going to uh, choose the light from light properties the layer a mask and you will see like the particles jump there and on pair properties we're going to change that from volume to each weighted and you will see the particles just jump to the path uh, there and on speed we're going to put that at zero so the particles don't have to move as you see we have like the particles still like emitting in a random fashion there and we're going to change the emitting from default to once and let's and on on subdivision, we're going to change that to something like maybe uh, 35. And you see they are like uh, spaced well and nothing moved. So for now, we set up everything for our emir and let's go to particles and let's put the life to four seconds. And maybe we want to change the particles property size maybe five or something we're just going to leave that now at 10 and now we're going to add the replica node so when you when you add the replica node nothing happened and on the replicates we're going to give that to 50 and also nothing happened because we need to offset uh, because now they are all uh, on top of each other and we need to offset the Z on toward the camera and you see like how it's create these nice replications and we can we can twist like the tunnel something like that we're going to give it maybe this nice twist on C too and for us now to change the color if you go to you may need, you may think that you need to change the the color on particles uh, on particles color here but what actually happened when you when you do that let's choose something this one and you would see we actually don't have what we want because if we turn off the replicate you will see like what actually is doing we have a random um, uh, gradient here and the replica just replicate the same but if we want to have something like we have here in in this example we have the gradient from coming from the end of the tunnel to the start to the beginning of it that's what we want so how to achieve that actually we need to go back to the particles and turn that back and let's go to replica and on the replica we're going to along path properties and change the color to the same color and you would see uh, what's actually yeah we need to uh, the color mix path we need to turn that and you see to put it at zero and we have something like coming from yellow to red and maybe let's change that from maybe as we have as we have in the tutorial from red to yellow
So as you see here, we have almost the same. And we have here like uh, the size of particles. We can change that to on particle, on particle, on replica and along path, we can change the size or life. So we have something like this looking nice. And on Emir, let's change the C, the C depth there. Let's create a new camera to see what's happened there. So that's our tunnel. And without twisting or changing the, the angle Z, it will be as a triangle or triangle that we make. And we actually can change the, the mask. Let's create a new solid and let's create maybe star and that's fine turn that off and on stardust we can actually change the type you see what we have there so it just changed the tunnel for us as you see we have a star tunnel we can go back to replica and twist angle we turn off the camera so we have something like this tunnel here We need to change the mask position. Let's go back there. And as we see, we have our tunnel. And for now, we're going to add a transform node if you want to actually animate. Uh, I like uh, going into the tunnel as you see we are moving and let's animate that let's start from maybe there at a keyframe at the end let's go somewhere there and let's easy use those keyframes Oh, let's put that there. And we have something like this nice and easy to create this nice tunnel. You can add many ch shapes, like any shape you, you can uh, use it for your tunnel. You can actually, uh, actually, um, do a lot of things. This is just really basic things as in a pad subdivision. If you turn that back to zero, we see like we're going to create something like uh, like really like flat. And the more you create more uh, subdivision, it's like you create less, uh, more space in between the particles. So let's start there. And you can always uh, change the particle uh, stuff there, like parameters to create different looks. And let's going back here. This is not, so you need to remember this, uh, this think for coloring the gradients on channel you need to do that on a replica so this is was the tutorial of today and hope you hope you like it and was useful for you and please like and subscribe for more videos coming soon thank you for watching <music>